This is lesson 3-7, equations of lines in the coordinate plane. Some of this should, uh, you should have seen before and should be a little bit familiar. We're going to start off with what slope is. Slope is the ratio. Ratio is just a comparison of two numbers. So it's a ratio of the vertical change to the horizontal change. Now vertical is up and down, so that's the change in the y's, to the horizontal change, and that's left to right, so that's the change in the x's. So that's the definition in words. We use the letter M for slope. So whenever you want to find slope, you can just write M instead of writing out the word slope. And slope is the change in Y, meaning take the Y coordinates and subtract them. They're in red. So you can see if I have a point X2, uh, Y2, and X1, Y1, I can just subtract the Y coordinates. That go always goes on top, change in Y, over the change in X. And on the bottom, I subtract the X coordinates. It actually does not matter which y you start with, but whatever y you start with, you have to start with the same x coordinate. So I'm just going to write y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. It could be the reverse. If you start with y1, then you would have to start with x1. Now down below here, I have a different. I have four different examples of slope. If the slope starts down here and goes up, that's called a positive slope. If the slope starts up high and it goes down, that's a negative slope. The slope is how steep the line is. So we have a positive slope, a negative slope. If the slope is just a, um, a horizontal line, that's called a zero slope. And if the slope is a vertical line, that's called an undefined slope or no slope. Okay, so that's slope. Now we're going to use slope to write equations of lines. So there's two different formulas that you need to remember. One is called the slope intercept form. Okay, so if, you have, if you're given a slope and you're given a y-intercept, you're going to use the slope-intercept form. y equals mx plus b. So you need the slope, which is my m, and I need the y-intercept, and all you have to do is to plug it in. So you plug in the slope, you plug in the y-intercept, you're done. And we'll practice one of these. The other one is called the point-slope form. Now a lot of times in geometry we're not going to be given the y-intercept, we're going to be given the slope and a point. So I use the point-slope form. And the point-slope point form is y minus y1 equals m parentheses x minus x1. So again, you need the slope. You can't write an equation of a line without a slope. If you're not given the slope, then you need to use the slope formula to find the slope. So all I'm doing is I'm plugging in the m, and I have a point, and a point always has an x and a y coordinate. So I plug in the x coordinate, and I plug in the y coordinate. The other y and the other x stay x and y, and we'll practice one of those also. Let's just do a quick review of graphing. Let's graph the line y equals 2 thirds x plus 1. Now whenever I want to graph, I always want my equation to be in slope intercept form. y equals mx plus b is a standard form. So I need to identify my slope. m is my slope. My slope is the number next to the x, so my slope is 2 thirds. And my y-intercept is my b, and that's the number by itself, so my y-intercept is 1. Now when I graph, I go to my, I, you can label this y and x, okay? b stands for my y-intercept. So on the y-intercept, you're going to go to point 1, and you're going to draw a point. So right here, okay, where I have this, you're going to draw a point right here. Now my slope is 2 thirds, so I'm going to go up to and then over 3. It's a positive 2 thirds. So the top number is positive, you go up 2, and the bottom number is positive, you go to the right 3. And you do it one more time. Up 2, 1, 2, 3, over 3. So you're going to draw those 3 points, and then you connect them, and there's your line. Okay, we'll do practice some more graphing tomorrow as well. Let's just practice writing two equations. The first one we'll do when I give you a slope and a y-intercept. So what is the equation of a line with a slope of 3 and a y-intercept of 5, of negative 5? So depending on which information, what information you're giving is which form you're going to use. In this case, I have the slope and the y-intercept, so I'm going to use y equals mx plus b, the first thing that we went over. So I'm just going to write y equals mx plus b. And all you need to do is to substitute in the slope. The slope is my m, so I'm going to put a 3 in for my m. And my y-intercept is negative 5, that's my b, and I'm going to put that in. Okay, so my m is 3, my y-intercept is negative 5, and I substitute it in. y equals 3x 
plus negative 5, or you can just write that as y equals 3x minus 5. Either way is correct. So this is the easier um, equation of a line. You're given the slope, you're given the y-intercept, you just plug it in, boom, you're done. Equation of a line where I'm giving a point in a slope. So again, depending on what information you're given is what you're going to use. I have a point and a slope, so I'm going to use my point-slope formula. So I write down y minus y1 equals m parentheses x minus x1. This is my point-slope form. y minus y1 equals m parentheses x minus x1. I'm going to substitute in my slope. My slope is 2. That is going to go in for m. And my point, my first coordinate is my x, and my second coordinate is my y. So I'm going to put in negative 1 for x1, and I'm going to put in 5 for y1. Okay, so my slope is 2. This is going to go right here. My x1 is negative 1. This x stays x. My y1 is 5, and this stays y. So I'm just going to substitute that in and simplify. So it's y minus 5 equals 2 parentheses, x minus negative 1, and a minus negative becomes a plus positive. Okay, at that point you're done. You may leave it like that. You can, if sometimes you might need to distribute this to put it in uh, the point slope form like this, uh, y equals uh, 3x minus 5, y equals mx plus b, if you want it to be in this form, you would just distribute this and then bring that negative 5 over to the other side. But otherwise that's it. So we'll practice some more of these tomorrow.